you're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I'm Sandy, your host. It is September 21st, 2024. It's exactly 101 days till the end of the year. How are your goals coming along so far? I told you I am going to keep a running clock, (laughs) a running countdown till we hit December 31st, 2024. I'm not going to let you fail. We have over 100 days to advance in our goals before the end of the year is here. At the very least, you'll be closer than you were last year. If you take the actionable steps outlined throughout our podcast now, 267 days in already, and 101 more days to go, you'll be squarely on track. Today, we're continuing with prioritization, which is part of our overarching year-end Finish Strong series. In this episode, we're highlighting prioritization as it is used in product management. Tech companies especially use this model to roll out high impact products that will make our lives better. The same methodology customized for personal and professional development can help us move closer to our goals. Firstly, do you know why we should prioritize? When it comes down to it, life happens and we cannot anticipate every variable and circumstance that can present itself, so why even bother? In the context of philosophy, what I just said can be construed as a bit nihilistic. For clarity, a nihilist is someone who believes that life is meaningless and futile. Nihilists often challenge established beliefs and norms, arguing that traditional philosophies and societal structures are meritless and a waste of time. And of course, this is a very simplistic way of describing nihilism. It goes far beyond that. But you get the general gist. I'm no nihilist. They aren't quite as pessimistic. But the core assumption of the banality of life is a consistent theme or narrative. Frederick Nietzsche was probably the most famous perverting this philosophy. But even he said, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. The quote clearly points to the importance of meaning in our lives. When we have a purpose that we are passionate about, we can then prioritize our actions and experiences with our higher self and ultimately, or hopefully I should say, the greater good. Nietzsche had a very tragic end, certainly hope that he was able to find peace. The why is important and can move forward our prioritization and overall goals to warp speed. Here's why. Intentional focus. It means that our daily tasks align with our goals. This is a key component of prioritization. You have to be strategic in discerning and deciphering what is important on your journey towards achieving your intended outcomes and then You prioritize those actions and experiences. When we prioritize these actions and experiences, we ensure that in our day-to-day actions, we're dedicating a substantial amount of our time towards our goals. Allocation of resources comes into play. When we know the why, the how starts to come into view. It starts to emerge. You can allocate your resources, which can include your time, social networks, money, and assets, among many, many other things, towards high impact actions that can move you further along and ahead. Another benefit of proper prioritization, and in my humble opinion, one of the most useful, is unclouded thinking and judgment. Applying prioritization when thinking about our choices and options allows us to see clearly what can, in a very direct way, lead to success. The prioritization strategy helps us avoid unnecessary delays by galvanizing our efforts in a particular direction and letting what is not helpful fall away. You will never hit a bullseye if you don't know your target. 
we are able to effectively prioritize when we know what we want to accomplish. There are several prioritization frameworks that can be used like the Eisenhower matrix and the Pareto analysis, which we'll talk about tomorrow. For today, let's keep it simple by taking a closer look at the Moscow Prioritization Framework. The Moscow Prioritization Framework was created by Dave Clegg when he worked at Oracle. It's a product management prioritization framework, but I adapted it for personal and professional development. <laughs> there are four categories in the framework and they are as follows. The must-haves, or like I say, the must-dos. These are the actions that will make or break our success. This stage is closely aligned with the why behind our goals. What must you do in order to move your development, whether it be personal or professional, forward? If we're talking about products, services, or even an increased level of leadership, then the question is, how will you add value to your intended audience or market? This phase or stage deal specifically with the non-negotiables or the must-haves for success. And then there's the should-have. All things being equal, this stage defines the actions, products, services that are important, but they will not make or break your success. If you don't decide to act or add to your slate of services and products straight away, you'll be fine. These are priorities that could add potential value. And then the could-haves. These are the enhancements or nice-to-haves but are not necessary. An example could be earning a certificate or degree in a particular industry. You may not need it, but an extra credential is never a bad thing in your career. It could be you're deciding to add a service to your company's offerings or add a feature to a product, additional visual elements or a heartfelt monologue or experience to your show. These add-ons are not necessary, but might increase your targeted audience's enjoyment and or connection to you. And then there's the won't have. These are things that are money or time drains, potentially tax your resources and are low yield. The Moscow prioritization framework is about determining what actions and experiences are worth your time and effort. Won't haves are usually ambiguous, open-ended, and do not add direct value to your goals, so therefore should not be prioritized. Some additional podcast episodes that can help with prioritization are as follows. Episode 4 on choices. Episode 6 on intentionality. Episode 11 on purpose. Episode 12 on goals. Episode 15 on focus. Episode 17 on time management and episode 25 on working smart versus manifestation. Having the right prioritization framework or model can help you save time, can help you become a lean, mean machine and accomplish more and help you accomplish more as you move forward. Tomorrow, we'll continue with our prioritization micro series. After tomorrow, we have two more installments left in this series. If you want to read a transcript of this podcast episode, go to my blog, dothisfirst.life. While you're there, you can sign up for my weekly newsletter, which will keep you in the loop on all my speaking engagements as they become available. And also, the latest research on brain health and the neuroscience. You can also listen to all of my podcast episodes on my blog. You can also follow me at Do This First, which is my YouTube channel. Tomorrow we'll continue with installment number four of our six-part prioritization series. Till tomorrow. Moving past the rain. Champion in you.